Yeah. Okay. All right. Sarah Grando has the flag. Who's this? Oh, Avascada. Oh, okay. Right there. All right. I'll talk to you later. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. and to the Republic. And what am I looking at? And one nation under God. Did she get that information? Right. 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 Anthony, we know the white guy. We have someone speaking though. Somebody is not unmuted. I mean, somebody's not muted. Yeah, just one maybe. We're good. Everybody, okay. everybody else is muted. One must have not been, but. Okay. Scott, roll call. Who are they talking about? Mr. Robert Scott, oh. here. Mr. Pizzotti, here. Ms. Bella. We're not muted. Not everybody muted. Elaine's muted. Elaine, you might have to un. Okay. Okay. Ms. Here. Stella. Here. Mr. Andronopoulos. Here. Mr. Donovan. He raised he's, his hand. He's, he's muted. muted. Okay. Mr. Mudo. Here. Hold on. I got Chris. No, Chris isn't muted. Mr. Laquella. Here. Mr. Ferrandino. Here. Ms. Keefe. Here. Okay. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by the following means. Annual notice was sent to the record, township clerk, and posted in the lobby of the town hall and board office, setting forthcoming scheduled work meetings and public meeting of the board. Okay. Anthony, I think you're up. Yep. Um, I just wanted to, uh, again, thank everybody for joining us. Um, obviously, we're, we're, uh, doing our best to, yes, I will unmute you. <laughs> We're doing our best to, um, to come across um, and, and, and have our meetings and for some reason, hey James, I need some, I uh, got it. Um, sorry, so we, again, we, we, we know this is a difficult time for everybody. I just did wanna to touch on a few things. Um, not much has changed since the last uh, correspondence I sent out. And, and one of the most important things I know a lot of people have talked about is, is graduation. Um, as, as well as end of year events. And, and obviously we, we start with the high school, but we don't forget our eighth graders as well. Um, and we're really still, based on the county superintendent's recommendation, we're waiting um, to see if we could do um, something as close to traditional as possible. Um, we have a contingency plan in place that we're moving forward with. I just spoke to the high school administration today. And um, we're gonna wait on this guidance. I have a meeting with the, uh, County superintendent, as well as the superintendents association this uh, Thursday. And there's also some other meetings this week where hopefully we'll get some more guidance in terms of what we can do. And then by looking at what we can do, we can focus on maybe, you know, what we can do and what we can't do. Um, so really the update hasn't changed. I think everybody's on the same pages in that we want to honor our students the best way possible and we don't want to sell them short. So um, like I said, we have kind of the, very conservative plan in terms of maybe just virtual, which we don't want to do that, but hopefully we're not forced to do that. And then we have a more aggressive plan that obviously would keep everybody safe and follow whatever guidelines are in place. And maybe there'll be some loosening of restrictions. And then we, we're gonna look for, if we have to look at something else, we'll do that as well. But for now, we're keeping all options open. Um, any parents that have had issues with um, the remote learning process, we're calling our flexible plan. Um, just feel free to reach out again, start with your teacher, principal. I think everybody's been going through the chain of command. I know I've spoken to a lot of people. Um, we are, you know, it's a learning process for all of us. I think we have um, done an awesome job overall with our staff, but if there's any concerns, you know, please reach out and we'll address those concerns on, on a case by case basis. Um, we haven't changed any of our policies at this time. We're obviously going to look at individual situations when it comes to students. So again, if there's an individual situation that's, you know, maybe not uh, helping us, I mean, that, that we're, we're, we, we can help you, um, just reach out to us. I know we've reached out to a number of families with, in terms of devices and Wi-Fi access. Um, 
but please, you know, just continue to reach out and we'll do our best to, to accommodate you as quickly as possible. Um, sometimes we're a little bit shorthanded, but our staff has been very receptive to um, helping and, 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 and doing our best to get things out there. We, we rolled out uh, kindergarten registration online um, as an initial process, just so we could get an idea of the numbers. So thank you to the people that have done that so far. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing with our pre-K registration, as well as incoming registrations in terms of a transfer or something like that. Um, most districts, um, including ours, has cooperated with families, have cooperated with families um, to keep students kind of do, you know, in their same district at this point in time, because it's not really affecting uh, enrollment. Um, but in terms of just regular transfers for next year, we're, we're going to roll that out online as well. And hopefully at some point we'll be able to do more things in person. So our board office is open, but closed to the public. Um, we're going to have a, like a drop off area downstairs at the bottom um, in our, in our main lobby entrance when maybe things do need to uh, be delivered in, form, in the form of a hard copy. Um, besides that, we're again, just trying to navigate th through this like the rest of you. Um, but again, just reach out. Um, all of our staff members are available. Um, they're available during the day. And, you know, just the only thing I'll ask is please be patient if you reach out to me because there's a little bit of a backlog and I'm trying to get back to everybody with a phone call and, you know, to address those situations. So I can speak for probably all of our staff. Um, it's, it's um, you know, we're, we're just trying to give you individual attention like we normally would. And that is all. I have Mrs. Keith at this point. I will be sending out more correspondence hopefully by Friday um, in terms of if anything has changed. And even if anything hasn't changed, I'll send that out as well. Um, our district is going to be closed next week. I'm sorry, this is one more thing. From Tuesday to Thursday, those are uh, emergency days that we have to give back. Um, there was reasons we couldn't do Friday based on AP testing and some of our staff members as well as a lot of our students that were affected by that. So. We will be off for Memorial Day Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then Friday, we'll be, we will be back on Friday. And um, I'm sure our staff members will be cooperative and you know, we're not gonna inundate students with unnecessary work that day, but we will have school in session that day uh, in terms of remotely. Um, we have at this point, Mrs. Keith. Okay, Mr. Egan. Thank you, uh, I'll, I'll be brief. Uh, just to ensure the uh, notify the board and ensure the public, the district is, is as of, of, of today is in very very good financial condition. Uh, we have enough, definitely enough money to, to get through the end of the year with a surplus um, that could be available for uh, capital reserve. Uh, however, what we're looking at um, uh, is to try and assess the financial impact on the district next year, the next school year, uh, based upon uh, uh, the financial condition of the state, the uh, existence of this uh, uh, coronavirus, uh, and, and plans are evolving. As, as, as soon as decisions are made, uh, the proper notification will be made. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you. May I have a motion to approve the minutes of April 28th, 2020? I make a motion. Second? Second. 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 Did you get that, Scott? Who second that? I didn't get that. I did. Chris. Hey, Mr. Angelopoulos, got it. The palm tree made the motion. <laughs> Roll call. Mr. Raviscato. Here. Four. Mr. Pizzuti. Four. Ms. Stella. Four. Mr. Andronopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Vudo. Four. Mr. Delaquella. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Ms. Keith. Four. Um, so the public hearing on the meeting agenda. Uh, this meeting we asked for people to submit uh, via the sec board secretary and Scott, I'm sorry, to submit their comments. Uh, to the board secretary by four o'clock today. We had no, uh, no one submitted any kind of uh, inquiry or zero. Okay. Okay, so I guess then uh, move on to finance. Chris, Mr. Okay. Andronopoulos. Yes, all right. 
finance any board member who takes exception to any of the following listed actions under the category of finance committee may so indicate now and a separate motion for each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I make a motion that we approve items one to 20, items one to 20. Second. Roll call. Mr. Abascato. Four. Mr. Mazzotti. Four. Mr. Stella. Four. Mr. Angelopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Budo. Four. Mr. Delacuela. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Frank, did you mute yourself? Frank is muted. Hold He's on. got muted. Hold on. It's not. Yeah, go ahead. Four. Four. Okay. Ms. Keefe. Four. Uh, education and curriculum, Mr. Abrascato. Any board member who takes exception to any of the following listed actions under the category of education and curriculum committee may so indicate now and a separate motion to each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I make a motion that the, the board accept item one. Second. Roll call. Mr. Abascato. Four. Mr. Bizzuti. Four. Ms. Stella. Four. Mr. Andronopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Bruno. Four. Mr. Delacuala. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Ms. Keefe. Four. Uh, uh, Ms. Stella, policies and rules. Any board member who takes exception to any of the following listed actions under the category policies and rules and regulations committee may so indicate now in a separate motion for each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I make a motion one and two be approved. Second. Roll call. Who picked up a second? I'll second. Rick. Rick, got it. Yes. Mr. Abascato. Four. Mr. Bazzuti. Four. Ms. Stella. Four. Mr. Angelopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Vudo. Four. Mr. Delacroix. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. <clears throat> Four. Ms. Keith. Four. Mr. Donovan, athletics and student activities. Any board member who takes exception to any of the following list of actions under the categories of Athletics and Student Activities Committee may so indicate now and a separate motion for each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I make a motion to accept item one. Do we have second. a second? Second. <laughs> Roll call. Mr. Abascato. Four. Mr. Bazzotti. Four. Ms. Stella. Four. Mr. Angelopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Vuno. Four. Mr. Delacuala. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Ms. Keith. Four. Uh, Mr. Pizzuti, new business. <clears throat> new business. Any board member who takes exception to any of the following listed actions under the category of new business may so indicate now and a separate motion for each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I make a motion that the board accept numbers one and two. Second. Mr. Vuno seconded. Correct. Roll call. Mr. Abascato. Four. Mr. Bazzuti. Four. Ms. Bella. Four. Mr. Angelopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Vuno. Four. Mr. Delacuela. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Ms. Keefe. Four. Mr. Ferrandino, personnel. Any board member who takes exceptions to any of the following listed actions under the category of personnel may so indicate now 
and a separate motion for each of the accepted actions will be entertained. Hearing none, I ask to approve items lettered A through P, as in Peter. A through P. Second. Mr. Votto seconded. Roll call. Mr. Abbasquato. Recusal. Mr. Bizzuti. Four. Ms. Stella. Four. Mr. Angelopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Mr. Luno. Four. Mr. Delacuala. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Ms. Keith. Four. Okay, so um, Mr. Bicek, are there any public comments for non-agenda items? No, ma'am. No were sent to my mailbox. Okay. Mr. Greco, is there anything else that you feel you need to address? Um, that's good. I'm just, just give me one second. I... No, again, I just, for people that maybe came in late, I, I gave a quick um, update. Of, I just, because I do, I do know I let a few people in about 10 minutes in. Um, in terms of, of some of the hot button issues out there, like graduation, um, we're just waiting because we are holding out hope for um, maybe the loosening of restrictions and, and, and maybe some clear guidance. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's not a secret. We got guidance. Um, I guess it was a week and a half ago on a Friday in terms of all that graduations have to be virtual. Um, then I guess there were some questions about maybe it not being clear. So the following day, we got a letter from uh, Colonel Callahan, um, who basically kind of said that pretty much everything is, is not possible in terms of gatherings. Um, and then that kind of changed over the last, oh, throughout the course of last week. And, you know, if you watch the news, I, I know, um, Governor Murphy has stated that he's going to address that in some way. Um, we're waiting for that because that will help us plan. Um, we do have different plans in place. Um, the most conservative one would be virtual. Um, and then we have one that we think is as close to traditional as we can get, again, based on what we're hearing. But um, we still need guidance in terms of the amount of people. Um, obviously, that's something we're gonna have to run through the town but um, our, our township has always been cooperative in areas like that and our police are great. So I have no concerns with that. Um, and I just stated to the parents and the community members out there that, you know, I think our staff overall is doing a, a, an excellent job. Um, and that if you have any concerns, you know, again, just please go through the process, reach out to your child's teacher, your principal, myself, and, and just even, I'm, I guess I'm just speaking for myself, just be patient. I'll, I, I'm going to try to get back to everybody individually and sometimes, I'm a lot more behind than I normally am in terms of getting back to people within 24 hours. It's more like a week. So um, I, I, I do want to give people the opportunity to speak and, and voice concerns. And even if you think it's something minor, um, I'll get to you. And it might be later at night or whatever, but um, there are a bunch of us in the office and our office is closed. And um, for those of you that know anybody that's uh, of kindergarten age by uh, five years old by October 1st, um, registration is open online. Um, it's all being done online. It was actually a good opportunity for us to do that a little quicker than we wanted to. Um, you know, try to take some of the little positive things that come out of this. And, um, you know, again, same thing with end of year events. We're looking at that as well in terms of, of how we're going to be able to honor our kids. So, again, just be patient. Um, I will try to send out an update by the end of the week or Saturday at the latest. And even if there's no changes at that time, I'll let you guys know that there's no changes. Um, in terms of next year, we have started receiving some guidance, not necessarily from the state, but CDC is sending out stuff and different groups are sending out suggestions for next year. And, and obviously, you've probably seen them in, in the newspaper, et cetera. Um, there's a number of different suggestions that um, we're planning for as well um, in terms of uh, whether it's temperature checks or masks or um, smaller classes we're, we're, we're kind of keeping all those options available and developing different plans obviously some are a lot more of a burden than others and obviously just like you have a lot of questions about them uh, we have a lot of questions about them as well um, in terms of things being feasible etc 
So um, again, just, just be patient with us. There's nothing that we're, we're not sharing. Um, you know, the New Jersey Department of Education sends out broadcasts. Those are available for anybody to see. So, you know, although they're usually filtered through the educational system, administrators or teaching staff, um, those are on their website. So, um, and again, with, if anybody has recommendations, how we can do anything differently, just please reach out and, and we'll get back to you. Um, that's all I have, Ms. Keefe, at this point. A question you mentioned earlier yes. that uh, there's registration for kindergarten and that there will also be online registration for pre-K. Yes. When does the pre-K registration, when is it likely to begin? Um, probably next week. It's, it's not really going to be that much different. We're, we're going to send out a letter because um, our, we have pre-K disabled as well as an integrated program that's half day. Um, so, so the half day is the one that would be a registration process and there would be a tuition attached to that. Um, so we'll probably send that out next week. That letter will come from either myself or Joe DeCorso or both of us. Um, Joe DeCorso is the uh, executive director of curriculum and instruction. Um, so that should be on no later than next week, but probably when school is out of session, but it'll be next week. So um, we're not that far behind in those areas, um, but in terms of kindergarten, we, we do want to get a, uh, a a solid grasp of, of the amount of students that we have. In terms of pre-K, if we do get an amount more than we can accommodate, um, our system allows for a lottery. It kind of, it kind of happens automatically through, thank you for sharing that with me. Um, it, 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 it happens through a lottery system that happens automatically in our student database real time. So we'll make sure that that's a transparent process and there's no, you know, favorites played in that area. But um, in terms of the total, I, I, I have to, uh, I could get back to everybody about the total that we'll be able to accept next year. Um, it might be 24, but don't quote me on that. Um, and this meeting will be available um, on our website, the seven o'clock regular meeting. Um, it's being recorded. So um, we have that in place now. Like everybody else, we're trying to work through the glitches and, uh, and learning how to do all this stuff. So I think, uh, I think we made a little bit of a comeback from the beginning, but we're, we're doing okay. Anthony. Yes. Just like to mention two people. Um, Please. Two that were um, one, both of them forever uh, that passed this past week within the last couple of days. Um, Joanne German, and uh, she was rest, uh, rest, yeah, what was it, uh, Joanne Ristiano. And also Mary Sabino, who was the secretary for about 25 or 30 years to the superintendent of schools at Linner. So just want to let people where I know everybody, I don't know if anybody here is that old. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, okay, Elaine, then you know both of them. Yeah, so uh, sad. Yes, very sad. Very sad. Uh, so just wanted to uh, mention those two. They were in Lynnhurst, uh, grew up and worked there all their lives. So wanted to mention them. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. That's about it. Okay. Okay. Um, so thank you everyone for coming out tonight. Uh, our format was a little different tonight and uh, we're still playing with how we're doing our virtual meetings. So um, be patient with us as we figure it out along the way here. Um, so may I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. motion. Second. Okay. Roll call. Ms. Stella and Mr. Vudo. Roll call. I did. I said that already. Sorry. I know. I don't okay. think Scott heard you. Scott, Scott are you? Oh. Everybody's unmuted. Mr. Abascano, roll call. Four. Mr. Bazzuti. Four. Mr. Stella. Four. Mr. Angelopoulos. Four. Mr. Donovan. Four. Stay safe. Mr. Vudo. Four. Mr. Delacuello. Four. Mr. Ferrandino. Four. Ms. Keefe. Four. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. Or staying in and logging on. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Joe. Bye, guys.